sorry for you today. Hello, can I just have a venti um, mango dragon fruit lemonade? Yeah, of course. Anything else? That's going to be it. Thank you. And what's your name? Chloe. All right, Miss Chloe. We'll see you soon. Perfect. Thank you. She was such a dang sweetheart. Like, girl. Friends? I'm just like, <laughs> 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 I'm just like thank you. You're welcome. And then can you ask her for a straw for me? Yes. Right, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You, guys have nice you too. Thank you. Did you ask for a straw? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I knew you went about that. No, no, it just completely slipped. You went about I that. You never that. wanted to give me a straw. Now I'm about to swing back around. No, please don't. You're embarrassing. Uh -oh. You only saying that because you want me to be like, oh. Is that a CTS? <laughs> Ooh, that's an ATS, I think. What's the difference? A, B, C, D, A, T, S. A, G, G, D, I, O, S. ATS and then CTS. The difference? Oh, oh shoot! I'm not too He about to... <laughs> Girl, my hair is a mess. But y'all know I don't know nothing about no dang cars. All I know is that them Cadillac uh, CTSs is noise, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I've never really even been like a caddy girl unless it's like an Escalade. I ain't never been no caddy girl. But good morning, sis, and welcome back to your girl's channel. It is me, Chloe Yasmin, and it's LaBoy. You know what I'm just playing? LaBoy. <laughs> <laughs> LaBoy. <laughs> La Might as well start calling me that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, girl, it's me, back in the cut with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, girl, we have such an exciting video today like I'm so excited I got my Starbucks we are going to go hygiene shopping so it's gonna be like a little bit of a hygiene shopping vlog I am headed to Sephora right now chauffeur head me to Sephora yeah I am the chauffeur nowadays yes you always <laughs> been my chauffeur yeah that's facts I don't do nothing but drive y'all um, <laughs> but <laughs> they have a Sephora in Kohl's now like Kohl's have Sephora inside of them so like the thing with Sephora being in Kohl's and being in JCPenney now all of them carry like the good stuff like the original Sephora stores do but I called this particular Kohl's uh, Sephora and I was like hey girl how you doing y'all got replica fragrances now mind you I'm trying to budget this hygiene shopping because y'all know I can go crazy with hygiene shopping so we are going to do a $100 budget in Target but I'm almost out of my perfume that I'm wearing today like girl I'm almost out of my replica bubble bath perfume so I called the girl yesterday I said hey girl y'all got replica fragrances she said yep we sure do I said you got bubble bath in stock yep we sure do so I really hope she ain't lying to me because sis I'm trying to go get back to my um wearing my bubble bath now I haven't been wearing it because it's so low I love this one in beach walk by replica oh my gosh when I tell y'all if it will focus when I tell y'all this bubble bath fragrance is so beautiful it is my perfume of the day today yes ma'am Huh, I'm smelling. I like that smell though. You love this? Yes, I actually really do like that a lot. He said he like it a lot, not love it. But that's all right. That's okay. That's one of my top favorite fragrances. <laughs> and it can go for males and females. What I really need to do is um, in the future get me, Brent, and my mama bottle because we all love the smell of it and we're like bubble bath. But anyway, I'm getting excited. Get my words all fumbled. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. That's what I wanted to go ahead and say. Amen. I gotta start saying that on every video. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. When I went to go like this, I ain't feel my rings, and I ain't got no rings on today. Maybe if you had your rings on, it would've hurt. I always do this! <laughs> So, thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord, Jesus Christ. I'm so grateful. And also, thank you, Jesus, for waking up all of my loved ones and all the people that I love. Because it's a lot of people that got terrible news this morning that their babies didn't wake up, or their uncles, or their mom, or their dad didn't wake up, their grandpa. So, I just want to go ahead and say thank you, Jesus, for waking up all of my family members this morning. Now, with that being said, I do want to go ahead and share just, like, some notes that I had took from this Joyce Meyer Overload book that Jordan bought me. So, I'm going to go ahead and share, like, a little part of the book that I really like. Y'all know I'll be all over the place. I'm one of them people that when I'm talking, I'm not too organized. I just be talking because I, I like to talk. Burp. Excuse me. <laughs> You're so cute. Negative expectation always equals pressure, and that means stress. The truth is, God doesn't work in us through negative attitudes of any kind. Whether it is worry, anxiety, self-pity, jealousy, laziness, or unforgiveness, these are not peace-producing attitudes. God works through faith. But in order to have faith, it is essential that we first have hope. Faith and hope go together. You can't have one without the other. Hope is a favorable and confident expectation. It's an expectant attitude that something good is going to happen and things will work out no matter what situation we are facing. So girl, we gotta throw them negative attitudes in the trash. Okay, because negative attitudes, whether it's worry, anxiety, self-pity, jealousy, laziness, or unforgiveness, the Lord cannot work through us when we have those kind of attitudes, you know, roaming around in our soul. So I know that I definitely need to work on that. I need to work on all of those things and I'm just grateful that the Lord oh my gosh there's so much dirt on this road my car gonna look nasty I can't 
on the scene. Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just very grateful every single time I come across something that, you know, I know that I can work on or something that I am working on at the moment. And it's just like my confirmation, like the Lord is really speaking to me. You know what I mean? So thank you, Jesus. Gotta go ahead and always use his name so we know who I'm talking about. The Lord Jesus Christ is my God. Amen, amen, amen. All right, now I do have an announcement, y'all. My mama told me to go ahead and let y'all know she has made a YouTube channel, babe. So her YouTube channel is gonna be linked down below. Y'all know my mama is my best friend. Like we are so tight and she's just the older version of me. I'm the younger version of her, shall I say. You know, she's just the wiser, more powerful version of me. You feel what I'm saying? So my mama is dope. Y'all go ahead and check out her channel down below. She hasn't posted yet, but she will be posting soon. So go ahead and subscribe to her down below. I also wanna go ahead and shout out my little brother cause my little brother is a boxer and he's been, you know, documenting and vlogging his training and conditioning and strengthening stuff like that. So go ahead and check out his channel down below as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And that is all I have to say because, girl, we pulling up to Sephora. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm really hoping I got my fragrance up in here because, girl, I love bubble bath. Replica does charge like $144 for a fragrance, which is pretty pricey, but, girl, they are good and their fragrances are like unmatched. Like, um, these people out here make me nervous. Yeah, they be driving wild. Right? My mama always told me before I got on the road, she was like, I'm not worried about you, baby. I'm just, I'm worried about other people because you got to drive for other people. Yeah. Anyway, Replica's fragrances are so different and unique that like, I don't care. Like, who the heck came up with Bubble Bath? Bubble Beach bath. Walk. Those are my two favorite from Replica. Beach Walk and Bubble Bath, but I'm not gonna buy two fragrances today. That's way too expensive. Y'all know I'm trying to be a little bit more wise with the coin. So I'm gonna go grab this fragrance and then I'm gonna go to Target and we're gonna do a $100 hygiene shopping budget. And then I'm also gonna make a one pot meal today because I made it on my channel before. I'm gonna make like a little taco bowl. No, go, go straight. Oh, right, the coals. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. I'm tripping today, yeah. Yeah, he been making so many wrong turns, and I cannot stand when people make wrong turns. Like, it really just be, like, irking myself. Sometimes I'll be doing it on purpose. <laughs> but listen, what was I saying? Oh, $100 budget in Target, so I'm going to need to go ahead and pull out my calculator and calculate. They ain't got no Sephora door. The other place got a Sephora door. The other Sephora out um, on the west side that's inside of Kohl's, they have their own Sephora door. So I'm pretty sure the Sephora is gonna be like over at that door, so go over to that door. Okay. $100 budget in Target, gonna have my calculator. Yeah, and this time, I'm not letting you go over it at I all. I don't wanna go over it. You remember last time, what happened, right? I don't wanna go over it anyway. Oh, okay. I will make sure of that. Budgeting no, is not, it's not bad at all. Budgeting no, is so good. No, it's beautiful good. and yes. I need to learn how to budget. But since I am treating myself to a nice expensive perfume today, I can budget. You know what I mean? Like I can budget. I can budget. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. I mean, repeat myself and I don't care. We That's sticking away from the clothes sections. You not going in there. I'm going to see you look and I'm going to tell you not to. Okay. Thank you. Actually, I need this. Yes. All right. I'm going into Sephora. I'll be right back, y'all. It's a little chilly today, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I had to pull out a North Face. See you soon. Ooh, she's so excited. When I tell you I gotta come back tomorrow and get my other fragrance I want. You look happy. I love, I am very happy. So I love this bubble bath, but I also love the beach walk. Like they go hand in hand. So I, I was gonna grab the beach walk, but I didn't wanna pay $300 cause it ended up coming up to like 50, 152, 152, 64. But when I tell you I need to go get my beach walk, so we gotta come up with some kind of video so I have an excuse to go get it. <laughs> some kind of like smell good cause I gotta get that. Beach walk and bubble bath are crazy from Replica. This is no joke, dude. And it's an amazing base perfume. I wore it by itself today. But baby, when I tell you what was my favorite fragrance to mix with this, I forgot what it was, but ooh, baby, this is good. I could just feel your happiness radiating off you. The fact that you I'm just so, got Because I have a passion for smelling good <laughs> and I have a like a really big passion for buying uh, perfume for some reason and perfume is like, they're that girls. Oh, wait, baby. And I didn't know they had a uh, Sephora up here like this. So you, I'm, I'm going to be up here. Now. Okay, we're going to come back soon. Tomorrow? An hour? Uh, I got to come back and get my beach walk. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Stop playing. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. I got my bubble bath. <laughs> Tarje, here we come, sis. Girl, that's my best friend. <laughs> Girl. 
we are here and yes we are on a hundred dollar budget and i'll be thinking it's so easy until i get to the stores let me let me take my coat off because it's getting hot up in here come on now I be thinking everything's sweet till I get up in the stove. And when I tell y'all, I really do like these Brazilian shea syrups. They're really good, especially for like the bikini area and everything. But they just came out with the pink extra gentle, oh, fresh watermelon. Ah, I'm trying it. <laughs> but it's $12.99. So you think I should uh, not add the taxes in? Maybe go a little bit over 100? Oh no, oh, we can't do that. What the taxes gonna be then? Well, we gonna have to just count that into everything. Cause... We gonna have to like estimate the taxes. Yeah, that is so true. So if it's $12.99. We put like a $2 tax on like everything pretty much. No. $2. Okay, we'll put like a dollar. I'll put nothing. <laughs> okay, for $12.99, do you think it'd be like a dollar? Yeah, we could put that. We could do a dollar tax. I think it'd be like 80 cents. So we get three seventy. Wait. three seventy nine. <laughs> that was twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine plus maybe like 80 cents. Thirteen seventy nine. All right. Girl, this thing going by too fast. Dang, that is kind of quick though. That's already 10% over with. 10%? <laughs> more than that. I do want to go ahead and grab more of those new 72 hour degree men's deodorants because they have more than just the one that I have and they work so good. Let's go see what they got. The men's stuff be powerful. They be doing us women wrong. Yeah, a lot of dudes be musty for no reason. Out here. Okay, stop. <laughs> I was saying that. You better stop. <laughs> but I mean, if you feel some type of way, you're talking to me. I'm just playing. I'm just. <laughs> Where the 72 hour ones at? We should have went to the hood Walmart because they had them. What's going on? Hey, calm down. <laughs> calm down. No, because they should have it. I can feel she's getting hot. They should have it. They only have one area for degree? Yeah. Y'all know my favorite deodorants right now are the 72 hour ones that are for men because they really, really work. But since they ain't got them, I guess I'll try the 48 hour. So let's see what, let's see what they got 48 hour wise. Uh, I'll try out the extra fresh, long-lasting odor protection. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know I'm getting hip to the men's deodorants again because, <laughs> yeah, good. mine's ain't working. <laughs> How much was that? Five ninety-nine. Okay, so we had about like uh, two dollars. Two dollars. So we had about like you know like twenty, twenty vibes. Man, oh my gosh, Love Beauty and Planet. Beloved, their beloved line. They came out with a new fragrance, pomegranate and geranium, or geranium, geranium. Oh, that's kind of nice. My favorite by Beloved is the Champagne Grapes and Roses. And tell me why my favorite is the only one not here. Wow. Okay, y'all have no sense of scent. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's so serious. Why is my favorite not here? I have been wanting to try this coconut and warm vanilla. Cause it smells pretty good but then like the lotion doesn't but like That's the weird. bath bombs do and i think the body wash does ain't it all supposed to have the same scent yeah but just not the same intensity yeah this isn't good either okay. i love strong scent so that may be strong to somebody but for me i'm like overpowering okay. and that's like how i like my junk to be you know what i mean so it's intense an intensity thing you know what y'all be taxing anyway and i'm trying to make my budget last but I do need some more baths though. This makes my bath so luxurious and the packaging is so cute. I'm gonna get this. It's limited edition. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Limited edition? You yeah. might have to stock up and then like flip them. It's limited edition. How much was that? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And then I'm already seeing stuff though. Collagen bath soak. Dr. Teal skin therapy bath soak with collagen, dude. Girl, with all the tanning I did, I need this. How much was that? I'm just adding oh stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. Hey, you gotta remember, it's 1029. This it's is not. 1029. It's 399. <laughs> How much was that chance I'd be like? Wait a minute, what you typing in? Nothing, we have 43. Oh, um, so I also just seen something again. This. Oh my gosh. So, you know that spray I sprayed on my legs the other day that was like an aftershave, and you were like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, that smells so good. Yeah. This is the scent. It's the Tahitian vanilla bean. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Treha, especially for like my upper body because I'm more acne prone. But for my legs, I'm going to start using this again because this stuff smells so good. I wish they would come out with a body wash, but this Tahitian vanilla bean, oh my gosh. I wish they came out with a perfume as well. Oh. Oh my goodness, dude. It's fire. Oh. That is good. How much was this? And that was $7.79. So not bad. They used to be way cheaper though. They used to be like $4.99 really? at $4.99 at Walmart. Inflation. Let me tell you what happened. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna say this. You know, people can say it's pride for, they can say it's a lie, but it's not. I blew tree hut scrubs up. Like I swear to gosh. Really? I blew tree hut scrubs up. And then they got on TikTok, the girls that like mm -hmm. knew that I was like a big fan of it, and then it blew up even more. Really? But like I'm the OG of blowing this junk up and not even charging eight dollars. They ain't even send me no check. 
They know what they, they didn't Should I buy it. that? Because they're getting hater vibes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Give me that. Oh, it's mine. Girl, we can go on the court. <laughs> Facts. They got the shave oil. Now I got to get that too. Did I ever add that in? Uh, I don't think so. I did. You might have to re-add everything up. Cause... I'm not doing nothing. So that's say seven seventy nine. I put eight dollars in because I ain't doing nothing all of that. And then for the Tahitia vanilla bean, that's ten dollars. So I put like ten, eleven dollars. You saying this stuff like you trying to spit I'm at game sixty two dollars. So I'm sad. Dang. Yes. Girl, you know I love me some baby washcloths now. Now this is what I caught on. The Carter's ones and then the Target Cloud Island ones are the same exact baby washcloths. These are eight dollars, the Carter ones, and these are five dollars, the Cloud Island ones. So we want to go ahead and go for the Target ones. But y'all know what I use my little baby washcloths for? It's an amazing feminine cleanser. It doesn't irritate you, rip your skin, anything of the sort. Because I have had that happen with a rough washcloth, girl. Five dollars for these Cloud Island Target brand. Um, baby washcloths, Gertie's is fire. But let me put y'all on to a good baby lotion that I love so much. Like, I love this lotion. And you'll probably recognize it because I was telling you about it recently because I was so confused that it smells the way it smells. It's in a cotton bottle or like a cotton touch bottle. And when I tell you they don't have it. Oh my gosh, they're doing this again. So I'm gonna insert a picture up on the screen of what the um, cotton touch baby creamy oil looks like and it's by this cotton touch johnson johnson brand it is so weird because you would think it would smell like laundry because it's like cotton but it's like a bright fruity smell it's like a nice comforting not like refreshing <laughs> it's like a nice comforting um y'all like my <laughs> shoes i got these shoes for 40 dollars yes. 40 dollars at burlington they're real adidas oh they're adidas too they look like bland off yeah <laughs> Come on. Y'all know I don't buy expensive stuff. Like, y'all never seen me with, like, that, that crazy expensive stuff. I really just, I, I ain't. The farthest I've been going is uh, North Face. So, anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's like a comforting, fruity smell. And it's so pretty. It's so amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and try out the face and body lotion. I like the creamy oil because it's way more moisturizing. But I work with this. So, shoot, girl. While I'm at it, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and grab the face and body lotion. I wish I could use it on my dang face. But my skin be like, girl, bye. You trying to kill me? Um, <laughs> but... Since I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the newborn wash and shampoo too because we're gonna be smelling like creamy oil all over. I mean, not creamy oil. This is just the cotton touch. Let me just say Johnson's cotton touch. Johnson's cotton touch. We're gonna be smelling like Johnson's cotton touch. Hey, Johnson's, Johnson's cotton, cotton, cotton touch. touch. What you got, bro? I got this. It's called Johnson's cotton touch. I got. Johnson's you got it too. Cotton touch. Hey, Johnson's, Johnson's cotton, cotton touch. touch. Hey, Johnson's cotton touch. touch. Hey. <laughs> I forgot to drink my Starbies. I, 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 I forgot to drink my Starbies. I'm getting she, a little too excited here. You also forgot to add in the amounts to this. I think she's trying to play oh, me. Oh, I didn't forget. It's already calculated. Oh, can I see it? No. Because <laughs> last time you said. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, how much were they? Nine twenty nine, nine twenty nine. So let's just say, can we even it out at like twenty one, twenty two dollars? Twenty two dollars. Let's say twenty two. Shut up. Dang, that's like eighty four dollars now that you're. How did you know? I can't even do math like that. It is $84. How many cents? Hold on. Nothing. It's eight cents. Yes, ma'am. See, I had almost forgot to get this, but this is definitely hygiene related. It is the Tide Free and Clear for sensitive skin. No dyes, no perfumes, anything of a sort. The, this is amazing to wash your underwear in for all my ladies out there. This is so great to use. Not too much because we don't want too much soap residue on them. We don't want our pH being knocked off. No irritation. So, the best way to go. Tide free and clear, y'all. I tried to figure out, I was really trying to figure out what the heck was irritating me every single day. And it was because I was using Gain, scented beads, all that different stuff in my underwear. Girl, bye. Free and clear. That's the way to go. We gotta be safe. Mm -hmm. So how much was that? That was $4.99. So I would say like $13.60 maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put that. Oh my gosh. It's so fast. What are you at? Like 94? Don't talk 90, about it. 96? I'm at 97. Oh, you see, you see. I only have like three more dollars. Can I spend like three more dollars? So you only have about three dollars about left. three thousand three thousand what are you planning on doing with that last little bit you know you can't go over 100 right <laughs> she want to go over <laughs> let's see three dollars let's see i got an idea i wrote back all right Two ninety nine. Oh. This is an amazing like shave cream for your legs. It's a conditioner. It's Aussie Miracle Moist conditioner. Blah 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 blah. 
this works amazing to shave your legs. Like, no lie, it's like an amazing smooth shave. It's creamy, it smells good, and it's only $2.99. Awesome. Hey, that was that really smart. That is a trick. Nice. That is a trick. Heck yeah, we won. Yeah, big body, look at her muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Where they got all this stuff and I didn't know? I'm gonna put some stuff back. I mean, hey, it's up to you. You, The stuff that you're getting. This herbal essence detangling cream smells so good. Really? Can I smell? Can I just go one product over? That's completely throwing away what you wanted to do. Mm. No, I don't want that anyway. It's like vitamins. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we good then. Let's go get the ingredients for the one pot meal. 101.34. Girl, I did a good job. <laughs> Still got to buy these ingredients for the meal, though. Girl, I barely drunk my dang Starbucks and a nail popped off. Y'all, I'm not gonna let this junk control my day. So I'm like a perfectionist. And I hate to like claim that, but it's true. It's okay, it's something that I struggle with, being a perfectionist, trying to have everything be perfect myself. You know, everything just in life, I want everything to go perfect during the day. So I had this cute little shot that I was gonna do. And it was like a shot of me scanning the products. Now we gonna get it next time. And it was a cute little shot of me scanning the products. While I'm scanning products, my dang nail pop off, but we didn't notice that the camera was not recording. Recording. So we get the cute little shot. We working together to go ahead and get the shot and it wasn't even freaking recording So you better make sure you get it next time because I swear to God I'm gonna bust your nail with a baseball I will, I will. I just gotta pay more attention to like a little stuff as well Yeah, so we working together on this but y'all I'm not happy I did not get my shot I was supposed to get that cute little shot and of course I didn't really show me getting like uh, the ingredients for the meal Because I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the ingredients when I get there But I'm gonna go ahead and make this cute little nice taco bowl one pot meal. Yeah, she want to get your perking spot That's why she's saying go ahead <laughs> right. Girl you got it. You can have it. We out of here. We always get the best spot to target We show sure do and we always thank the Lord Jesus Christ for every little thing that happens mm -hmm. Including our amazing parking spots, but yeah girl we are out of target. I got my all my meal ingredients it's so weird doing budgeting because i'm just like that's not enough for me to be satisfied but it is it's good yeah that was quick dude and let me <laughs> hey calm down it's i i love target i love 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 target but when you just come out the bed like you ain't showered in three weeks now i'm the type of person that i want to spread awareness and help instead of bashing people for you know their body odor but i got a real weak stomach and when it's extremely powerful like it's a thick smell in the air like you can't cut through that i don't care how much febreze bleach it don't matter what you do that smell ain't going away it makes target so like i gotta get out of here my so i have a very, very weak stomach and like gag reflexes so i really will throw up for a smell like about a smell mm -hmm. and that would have been so embarrassing mm -hmm. had I let my mind go to a place where I'm really thinking about where that odor is coming from yeah. and I throw up because it's happened before it's happened multiple times before but when I'm smelling something and I'm like oh and I keep thinking and it's a mental thing and then I throw up everywhere like oh my gosh when I tell y'all I can't do it I can't do it I can't do it so you know he's kind we is nice but man we came into that cloud twice yes the, f the second time it hit you way before it hit me dude but the first oh <laughs> Yes. But the first time, the smell would not go away. That smell, it was there for like two minutes straight. I seen an employee covering up his nose. Really? Yeah. Grown man. Oh He's like. The fact that you have a whole friend with you, the fact that your friend's not telling you about stuff like that. I don't think that was her friend. I think that was her sister. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. The fact that your own sister wouldn't tell you stuff like Cause that. Cause her sister didn't stink. I don't know. I have a so it wasn't both first, of them. It wasn't both of them. Oh, let me put my nail back on. Y'all know I carry my nail glue with me. Y'all know I carry my nail glue with me, with me, with me, with me. What you know about that nail glue? With me, with me, with me. He stand, he stand. What you know about that? With me, he stand. Legend, legend, legend. Oh no, you might have to make some like rap music for real. <laughs> we like best friends. I was like, my nail, my nail, my nail. I said, put it away. Put it in the bag. <laughs> he took my nail, put it in the bag. Hey, at one point I was like, hey, don't do this because your nail might pop off. I know, he be serious <laughs> about these nails. He know how easy they pop off because they are press-ons. But I was at um, my favorite um, McDonald's employee. Like, I love him. He's so cool. He knows Jordan and I, but I don't think he recognized me because I don't think he's ever seen me apart from you. And he came out to give me my food, and he was like, girl, them nails. I was like, they're press-ons. He turned around and was like, wait a minute grab my hand <laughs> he said no way girl like well i'm like yes girl he's from uh etsy he was like okay i'm gonna go on there tonight and get me some you said etsy i said yes girl hey i say he be about his bread oh i love him he is there 24 24 7, 7. you don't never see him not there exactly he makes the drive through that much better though oh my gosh he's, he's so one of those freaking people. up i love yeah. him he's a hard worker he's kind he's sweet but he about his bread for real 
I said, yeah, girl, they brought some. He like, what? I'm finna go get me some. But yeah, girl, I'm finna go home and make this nice little one pot meal. So let's get it popping. All right, sis. So your girl just made it home. I am lining up all of the ingredients. Okay, for today's little dump and go meal. That's what it's called. So the lady that made this on YouTube, I'll go ahead and link her video down below. She has like five different dump and go meals on that. But this one is called her beef and rice. I'm gonna call it a taco bowl because I'm gonna add taco seasoning. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit more yummy and then add everything else on top. So yes, I have a little bit of dishes to do, but I ain't worried about that right now, girl. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking. Ingredients, we have some ground beef, some salsa, some tomatoes, some taco sauce. Get the mini rice, sour cream as a topping. We have some corn, we have some black beans. I have some avocado for guacamole. So these will require like some lemon or lime and a little bit of seasoning. I got some cafe style tortilla chips and then I also have some mild cheddar cheese in here girl and this is gonna be a very simple but very yummy meal let me go ahead and start washing up my hands I did buy some new candles you guys I am so obsessed with candles and I'm gonna go ahead and do like a candle haul soon in like an upcoming video because I bought so many new ones from Bath and Body Works but I love these two um scents by Glade this is one of their strongest scents it is fall night long it comes around every single fall and winter and this stuff smells so strong my mom don't like it but I'm like a very big fan of fall night long so I bought that candle these are $5.99 at Target and then I bought the champagne cheers these were the smell of my recent plugins like not my current ones but my recent ones and this smells super fruity and pretty as well so yeah I went ahead and bought those two candles that I have a good smell in the house yes ma'am yes ma'am especially when I'm cooking stuff like this because that taco seasoning oh my god they be holding on to my clothing y'all All right, girl, let's get it popping. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and like watch my phone throughout making it because I forgot how to make it, but I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and start cooking on the ground beef. Okay, y'all, we got a little pot here. Yes, ma'am, we got the ring light in the back. Okay, girl, don't take my, my, my shine, my light now. I'm gonna go ahead and add this ground beef in there. The perks of having long nails, even though I really should knew that were press I'm gonna go ahead and add this little ground beef in there. Girl, I'm about to have him come in here and help me film. He's walking the dog right now, but so we're gonna get some better angles in a minute. But girl, please let me know if y'all want me to do more cooking videos because for some reason, like I cook a lot more now. Like I love to cook. For some reason, like I really do enjoy cooking and coming up with cool meals and stuff like that. Like I've been cooking y'all. I've been frying pork chops, frying chicken. Not saying that all my food is fried because I rarely ever fry food. But yeah, y'all. I have made literally just about everything that there is on the planet. I've made white chicken chili, spaghetti, tacos. I love steak tacos. Hold on, somebody calling a sister. It's my mama, it's my mama. So yeah, like I was saying, y'all, go ahead and let me know if y'all want me to do more cooking videos because I sure will do so, okay? I done made just about everything. Burgers, chicken tenders, girl, everything. Okay, uh, ch uh, chicken alfredo, my junk is popping. And I understand not everybody likes the same food. Not everybody agrees on like the same thing, but you know, if y'all want to see me cooking, go ahead and let me know because the sis will do so. Hey, Miss Lockett. Oh my gosh, if y'all see my little twig in the background, which is my little Lockett, if y'all see her in the background, she got some... Uh, grooming done the other day and I'm not gonna lie I know this is gonna sound weird because I really do not like her hair short she literally has like no hair it is so cute to me because it's a whole different groomer that did it I know that's not the same girl and it's actually super cute because she looks so skinny and like skeleton like but she looks like one of them rich dogs like the rich dogs are ugly yeah the rich dogs are ugly let's be real yeah they usually they ugly so her little cute ugly look is is cute to me i don't know <laughs> it don't it don't sound right but it's cute anyway y'all man just random season so i'm gonna go ahead and add some of this chicken flavor bouillon flavor and then i'm gonna go ahead did i just say chicken flavor bouillon flavor you sure did i didn't she i'm gonna add a little in, black pepper she brought in some stuff in her mouth and I you brought in some sticks and she dropped it down over here on your car Girl, why are you dropping stuff out of outside? Got a little accent, y'all. Little garlic powder, little onion powder, minced onion, because I don't feel like chopping up no onions. For some reason, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I like it when you film. For some reason, when I'm filming, I try to do like the bare minimum in cooking because it's just so much with filming and cooking. So I didn't even dice up no dang onions. I got you. I'll be right there. Well, I ain't doing it now. It's too late. Oh, no, you got to. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put in some uh, dried minced onions, but I do usually put, uh, I do usually chop up some onion and put it up in here. I don't even like onion, but onion flavor is so good in food. I'm the same way. I don't mess with onion, but 
girl, if you put onions on your food, that's the least gonna eat it all. Ooh. It's so many things this boy did not used to eat that he eats now because of me. I'm just going ahead and seasoning that up with some extra seasonings. And then when that's all cooked up, we're going to add the taco seasoning. Don't give up my refrigerator. It's such a mess. Seriously, you're trying to expose me. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not showing nothing. So I'm not going to dice up no onion, but I do usually do that, y'all. I'm being a little lazy today. So I just put like a little bit of dry mince onion in there. But I'm going to go ahead and put some of my garlic because the garlic is so good. Oh, my gosh. I will put that up in there because I don't never dice up no garlic. But I do usually put onions. I'm talking all of this crap, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I I'm usually do. do I usually do. I'll come out here from like using the bathroom or somewhat and you'll be cooking and I'll just see you layered up with all types of different cut up vegetables, different spices and stuff. She be oh, going yeah. crazy. Be going yeah, you can really cook for real. And it's crazy because like I was so like nervous to cook for you when I first got with you, of course. I don't know if like any other girls can relate, but it's like kind of nerve wracking like cooking when you first you know, start talking to somebody or whatever, like, because you don't know how they're going to like about your food. Right. I can't talk. You don't know how they're going to feel about your food. I can't talk. <laughs> I also added a little bit of Lumpy Mama seasoning. We're going to wait for this to go ahead and fully cook, and we're going to start straining it. All right, so that is good enough. It's got like a little bit of pink, um, but it's still going to keep cooking when I put it back in the pot. So we're going to go ahead and strain all of that. It smells so good, like nice seasonings. Mm, 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 mm. So I don't want this to be like super taco-y, like if I was making tacos, because usually with um, this amount of meat, I will put like two packets of taco seasoning, but I'm only going to put one packet this time because I want it to be, you know, like a light taco flavor. I got to learn how to cook and film at the same exact time officially <laughs> what did the video say oh the video didn't exit it out seriously and about a cup and a half of minute brown rice you a cup and a half of minute brown rice oh girl open up i can't make no other rice but this type of rice because uh honey i don't know how to make no rice i'm, go I'm gonna be real i don't know how to make certain things i ain't gonna sit up here and act like i can but i can make a good amount of things there we go that's one cup and that's a cup and a half. Now, how much chicken broth do you say? Because you gotta have some chicken broth. I forgot to say that. I already always have chicken broth, so I already have some chicken broth here. Oh, okay, so hers in a different order. So what she did was she cooked the beef with some onion, and then she put the rice in there after she strained everything, and then she added her seasoning. Well, my seasoning is already in my beef, so we're just gonna go ahead and mix that rice around and then start adding in that chicken broth, because that chicken broth is what's gonna soften the rice. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of taco seasoning. That's not a step in here, but girl, we're gonna do it. Two cups of chicken broth. That's me. Even if I knew the recipe from back and forth, I just want to go ahead and just make sure. I didn't know this recipe, but I'm saying even if I did, I always go back and forth to watch the video. I might need more because I think I made a little bit more than her. So I am gonna add like a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little bit of water only because I am adding taco seasoning and taco seasoning will need the water. Ooh, girl. What? Let me stop. Because I really... What's wrong with it? This right here smells like kind of how the girls smell in the store. What? I swear to God, I smell it. <laughs> Whoa. No, like it actually does. Like a muskier does. version of this. No, because that actually does. Why did I think she was in my house? I thought it followed me home. Oh my gosh, stop right now because I'm not trying to be mean. And people are going to probably be like, you're canceled because you said somebody smells like taco seasoning. <laughs> Just because I know exactly what it smells like don't mean I'm being rude. We got the taco seasoning in. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up these cans real fast, y'all. We got some corn, we got some black beans. I'm gonna add in the salsa. I am literally all over the place, I'm not gonna lie, because like I don't really know this recipe. And it is like a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's a dump and go, so you can dump. And girl, you can go. All right, beans, black beans. And then when all of that is cooked and done, then I'm going to go ahead and start working on the guacamole. I make a super quick little guac. Now for the guac, I probably should put a little bit of onion in that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's what I'll do for the onion. Ooh, that looks so nasty. It's some juice. It's some potion. <laughs> the little bean. It's some juice. The little bean that just fell out. That's so hideous. Ew. All right. So she said, add the salsa in now. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey, let me. Hey. Oh my gosh. Big body. I'm going to add the salsa in. Oh. That should be. Why would you say that? I got the corn in. Now we're going to go ahead and add the black beans. And let me tell you something about this meal. This meal is popping. And I'm going to tell you why. This meal is popping because my niece and nephews are very picky with food. It's so annoying, but it's very true. They are so picky with food. But I had my two little nieces over and they smashed two bowls each. 
Dang, two, two bowls. Two bowls each, and then my mom had some, you had some, I had some, Brent had some. It's a great meal. Like, it's, it's, it's an amazing, yummy, simple, and pretty cheap meal. All right, I'm mixing this. Mix, 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 mix. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all around. And then, I'm gonna bring it to a simmer, and I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, just like she said on the video. And this meal is also super dope because it makes a lot, because I got two pounds of ground beef. And they just kinda go ahead and add all of this little stuff in, and girl, when I tell you, it is yummy. And I do suggest putting a little, you know, taco seasoning in there because it is gonna add, you know just that boost of yumminess so it's looking good it is ow bust my hand with the camera <laughs> seriously all right so i'm gonna see when that starts simmering then i'm gonna go ahead and let it sit in there for about 15 to 20 minutes but while i am letting that do that i'm gonna go ahead and cut up some tomatoes some little red tomatoes and then i'm gonna start making the guacamole now i feel more comfortable when my watch is off so i'm gonna go ahead and take my watch off my kitchen is a mess and it's stressing me out a mess it's hey, I'll, I'll get you right after. I'll clean it after. Y'all, so I have this thing, like, where I won't ask him directly, but I'll be like, like, my <laughs> kitchen is a mess. Yeah, see if you want me to be like, you know what, I got you. I but got I'll be you. like, he'll be at home, or he'll be at, he'll be doing something. Like, let's say, for an example, let's say he's not here, and I want him to, like, take me out to eat or something, and I'll be like, I'm like really hungry, so I'm just about to go out to eat by myself. So yeah, I'm about to go to this one place, and it's like half bar, half restaurant, and it's like guys in there. So I'm just going to sit by myself, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she knows that I don't mess with her going out by herself, because stuff is getting weird now. Stuff is getting world. weird, Very and weird. it's getting really bad, and it's yeah. just not it. So my family, my brothers, him, they do not want me going out by myself, and I cannot blame them. And the thing is, I have no problem with driving you, either, or like going places with you. But sometimes he's busy, and I still be like, hey, but listen, though. <laughs> That is facts, actually. I still be coming, though, because I love you. I know you do. You show me by your actions. You're so sweet. But yeah, girl, I'm cutting up these little tomatoes. Okay, girl. Cut them, cut them, cut them. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, but, like, I'm going to be real. Like, I don't know why I put these two together. So I honestly, like one of the worst smells in the world for me personally, and I had never smelled it until I went to my dad's funeral because we didn't really go to funerals like that growing up, Ooh, embalming fluid. And to me, embalming fluid smells like certain tomatoes. And for some reason, these tomatoes kind of like give like the embalming fluid. Really? Yeah, to me, like embalming fluid smells like, like tomato, like a nasty, like rotten mm -hmm. tomatoes. So it's just like... For some reason, those are smelling like, I don't know if my stomach is like real sensitive today, but I'm not liking that. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the meal because I know it ain't going to taste my type of way. But I'm just like, gosh, dang, that dang smell. Now, I had never smelled a smell like that in my dang life. You know, we hugged my dad or whatever, him in the casket and stuff like that. And, of course, the embalming fluid got on, you know, our clothes and stuff like that. But nobody said anything but me. And I'm like flipping out about how I still smell this dang embalming fluid. It's like stuck in my nose. It's on my clothes. It's like gross, gross, gross. So I get home, I'm changing. Blah, 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 blah. But little did I know, some of my family members have volunteered for his flowers to come back to our house. So I'm mm. smelling the embalming fluid on the flowers and the, ooh. Oh my gosh. It was just one of the worst times of my life. Like that was so disgusting. So, no. Whenever you smell something bad, does it actually make you feel sick? Yes. Like sick to your stomach? Legitimately. Mm -hmm. Legitimately. Like, it's just certain smells. I can't do smells, period. That's why, you know, I became close. She has me because I ain't with the junk. <laughs> so, I be seeing whenever Lockie be coming in. The I can't smell. do wet dogs now. Mm -hmm. The wet dogs. It's just certain smells I cannot do. I just can't. I just... It's not really a thing for me that I can do. I'm just stirring it a little bit. I'm trying to get it to a good little simmer. It's not simmering yet, so I'm going to wait. And then it's going to be in there for about 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and cut up these avocados and then start smushing them. I forgot to cut up some onions. So I'm going to put these, I'm going to put those tomatoes in a bowl so I can just add the tomatoes in. But I just kind of go around the avocado with the knife. And then I just twist it. Ooh, that was kind of clean. And then I just go like this. Really? And that seed is out. That was really clean. Thank you. <laughs> and then you just kind of repeat it with the mm -hmm. next one. All right. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm all over the place. I am like that when I'm cooking. When I'm not just focusing on cooking. You be having the tricks. Look, straight to it. It's a big Come old seed, bro. It's not even avocado at this point. For real. That's dang your apple size. Facts. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add those tomatoes in this bowl. So I can start cutting up a little bit of onion. This is what you was talking about when I had my ingredients out. Yep. I'm you coming out and you just see everything out. You know it's been a bang. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, whenever you go into a kitchen and somebody's cooking and you see all the ingredients out, you know it's about to hit. All right, onion time. 
Please, Lord, do not let my eyes, you know, water up too much now. Now, I got these little onions because the cheap ones is the white ones. The more expensive ones be like the red ones, the yellow ones, stuff like that. But I definitely got to go ahead and get me some of those red onions, like the purple ones, because them are like super flavorful. And they're like my favorite kind of onion. But these are cheap, so I went ahead and got the little cheap onions. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna put on a 15 minute timer and baby i think we're gonna be in business that looks so good if not then we'll just put it in for a little while longer but yeah 15 minute timer all right i'm gonna start smashing up these avocados they taxing for avocados nowadays i ain't gonna play how much are they each like a dollar 30. these were 79 cents and they tiny <laughs> they're little Oh, that's crazy. Yep. If you want to eat healthy, you better pay but I, up. Yeah, but I guess not. that's not too bad because I did get some tiny avocados um, from Aldi's recently. And they were 99 cents, so. So I really can't. Oh, that's the uh, that's the part we don't want. Quick, little simple guacamole. Guacamole is super simple to go ahead and whip up. Always real fast. Um, and I'm sure I got some lemon in there, right? Yeah, you still got plenty. Perfect. I always love having a good amount of lemon. Put a little salt up in here, lemon, some garlic powder, make it garlicky, some onions. You know, it's good. Oh, it's so fire. I know some people put like tomatoes in it. Mm -mm, I can't do tomatoes in my guac. I can. What am I talking about? I can do tomatoes in my guac. I just usually never put it in there, but I probably should. Yeah. I learned how to make this in fifth grade. Really? Fifth grade? Yeah, I learned how to make it in fifth grade. We had a little cooking class and they would come out. Like schools are not the same no more. We used to have cooking classes and they would come out and they would teach us how to make things. So this particular day we learned how to make guacamole and their guacamole. It was addicting. Oh my god! And it was because of the lime that they put in. Now, I don't got no lime. I got lemon. So that's what I do when I ain't got, you know, what I need. I use whatever I got. So lime and lemon. Girl, I tell you what. Put a little accent up in here. A little salt. Ooh, girl, I tell you. So to help the avocado break up a little better, I forgot, is you want to go ahead and add that lemon up in there. So it becomes more liquidy. Just like when you add half and half or milk to your mashed potatoes, it makes it easier to go ahead and mix up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut half of this lemon. All right, I'm gonna use the bigger side because I want it to be real lemony. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking it up. The seeds out, mm, we don't want that. Come on now, we don't want it. Oh, come on little seed. You ain't have to do me like that. Oh, Ooh, it's seeds up in here. I'll be eating them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got time to be picking them out. I be eating them. I gotta give me a lemon juicer thingy. One of yeah. Juice things. Sometimes I be hearing you. Whenever you make something with lemon in it, sometimes I hear you start crunching. I'm like, you chewing on the seeds? <laughs> One time I asked you, I was like, how do the seeds taste? I was like, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! I'm gonna be citrusy, boy. Yes, I'm keeping them in there. See how much easier that is to break up? It's yes. that acid. It's that super citrusy like acid. Oh, I guess I talked too soon. <laughs> but no, it's definitely mushing up way easier now. <laughs> Look at that. He be a hater, so he be really trying to like act like he about to start cooking or something. Oh, my, not true. Y'all, y'all, he want my cooking skills. <laughs> I mean, hey, let me tell you this. Okay, let's say you give me a little bit, I learn how to cook, and we have a, a little bit of what? We have a cook off. What's up? Give you a little bit of what? A little bit of time. Boy, get the heck out of here. We should we should have a cook off. Actually, we should have a cook off, babe. What's up? What you want to make? We gotta figure What's that up? out, y'all. Let us know if you want us to do a cook off. As I'm talking with onion stuff on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> let us know if you want us to do a cook off. I think that would be really fun. You just have to stay on your side. I stay on mine. Uh huh. You. Plus, she's gonna I, try to sabotage me. No, uh, you gonna. Be well, the only thing that could possibly sabotage you is them not cooking at the same pace because this is they're all different eyes. Girl, I'm good. All right then. We figure out what we gonna make, and we gonna make it. I ain't playing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold I'm you up. On that. I'm gonna hold you up on that waffle. You gonna do that? I am. More, more dishes. Can't stand dishes. But Jordan and I have been on this every single night cleaning routine thing, so I gotta get this all organized. Please don't look in here. Um, I gotta get this all organized. But Jordan and I have been on this uh cleaning routine at nighttime thing. So every single night we like try to make sure that we clean everything up and make everything look really nice because I'm really the type of person that cannot do a dirty home. It genuinely will make me feel so depressed and so lazy and unproductive that I literally cannot do it. And I can say literally a million times because that's <laughs> literally how I feel. It gives you a nice peace of mind whenever you end the night off with a clean home. Right. Ooh, Ooh that's burnt me. I'm gonna let it simmer without the cap because I want that water to kind of get out a little bit more. 
Ooh, yeah, so accent, salt, little garlic powder. All right, there, babe. Man, I'll tell you what, y'all. Well, all of this stuff that I've been going through behind the scenes, um, and you know, all the pain that you know things have caused me. Y'all know I'm doing amazing and great now, but you know, the Lord will turn what these demons meant for your bad, He'll turn it for your good if you allow Him. So mm -hmm. it's if you allow Him, because you know, I'm the type of person that if you got an attitude with me, I'm not, I might not get an attitude back with you, but I'm sure gonna give you like the sun shoulder, like, all right, be real short with you, like. I don't consider that to be rude. I'm just being real short because you were rude first. For this lady at uh, Burger King, we went and got some breakfast this morning. She about rude as all could be. And the Lord spoke to me and said, all right, well, you was just in pain and hurting and depressed and stressed mm -hmm. out. Now, what about her? She may not know, you know, how to cope with things and how to deal with things, so she's just rude. Because mm -hmm. she'd be going through anything at home. And I was reading the Andrew Joyce Meyer book recently, like, you gotta really change your perspective. Like, when somebody's being rude, you never know if that, that woman is going through a divorce with her husband. You never know if her child, if she's got, you know, medical issues going on with her child. You don't know if her dog just like, you never know what's going on. And it's just really up to us to, to not, you know, let these demons win. Oops, that went in there. I didn't do that, though. Oh, unsanitary. Not let these demons win, um, you know, and don't let it get you upset. And don't, you know, allow it to get you to, you know, retaliate and be, you know, rude right back. So I chose to just pray for her. That's literally what I chose to do. And I chose to pray for her and just let her like it <clears throat> so much better and become her Lord and Savior because that's literally all I can do. Amen. Because we don't ever know. And she mm -hmm. could be going through one of the worst things. She could have got one of the worst calls, but she's still clocking the work that morning. Still got her job done. And then maybe the lady that was so sweet at Starbucks this morning, she could have previously had bad days where people were like, she's rude, but she was so sweet today because she could have been going through some things. You know, you just never freaking know. Yeah. There's so many different things that could be going on. Never know. You just never know. A variety of things. Mm -hmm. And um, so I say all that to say that, you know, if you allow the Lord to turn what these demons meant for your bad, good, he will make it for your good. And I definitely am more sympathetic for people in pain because I was recently hurting very bad. What? What's missing? That is so good. <laughs> it's in like that? Wow, that is like the best guac I've ever had in my life. And I'm gonna tell you people are missing their guac. It is freaking accent and garlic powder. People put salt. Some people don't. But it's like you need it. It's in the lemon. Ooh. I'm gonna add a little little extra lemon. Only because it's like, why not? Oh, me. He will grab me like a Ziploc bag. I'll put the rest of that lemon in there. Oh, come on, my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get a fan, praise the Lord. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the tomatoes. I'm gonna get these dishes done later on tonight when I'm more relaxed. We literally worked all day yesterday and so it was just a very, very, very busy day. So what I decided to do was just clean up my room real good and I cleaned up my bathroom real good. And then I just wiped down the counters in here and wiped down the oven. So it wasn't like nothing crazy. And I really, really, like one thing I've really been trying to work on, trying not to do like this, all this perfect stuff. Like I was talking to Jordan recently and I was telling him like what my anxiety was like stemming from and like my stresses and he was like, well the problem is that you're trying to be perfect. Like, and I've been told that, you know, Lord be telling me that and that is a problem, you know, me trying to be perfect and I just want everything to be perfect. So when I clean, I want the cleaning to be perfect too and I want every little thing to be perfect. But it's like, I can't be like, because if I do try to get everything perfect, I will be extremely stressed out. But I just be addicted to the end result, like that real satisfying feeling. And then just if I don't do it, then I feel very stressed out and anxious. What I need to work on is just not, you know, trying to be so perfect all the dang time. You know what I mean? If it makes sense, it makes sense. I know it probably don't make sense to everybody, but... It makes sense. You're literally just saying that... I want everything to be perfect. Exactly. That's all you're saying. Ah! Whoa! Oh. Okay. okay, so I actually, I haven't had a nail pop off that hurt in so long. And now on her. Oh my <laughs> gosh, come here. I got a chicken nugget in my hand. I made it. Yeah, she made these chicken nuggets. They're so freaking bomb. It is crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this sucker right back on. I'm gonna put this sucker right back on. I'm gonna put this sucker right back on. We're gonna put it right back on. on. Hey, put this sucker right back on. Hey, put this sucker right back on. Put it on. What? You be making bangers. I could literally name a bunch of different songs that you had made yourself that you should drop. But. Grateful hearts. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa. Go ahead, right here. Hey, hey, hey. Grateful hey, hey. 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 heart. Hey, no one was art. Hey, no one was art. Hey, grateful heart. Yes, 
I want to put on my nails right now. My problem is my nails been popping off like so easy only because I don't buff them before I put on nails anymore because it makes my nail thin. And I don't want my nail to be thin so I just put them on with glue and like I dry it out with alcohol. But that's why they've been popping off so easily too. Like I just put these on and I usually, they usually last. That's why I get the short nails because short nails really don't be popping off. That's why I've been wearing them short ones. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at Hold the on. steam on that. Hold on. Ah, how much do you want, kid? Ew. You have to put that, uh, put the sound effect on. Hold on. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Ew. Ew. That's so freaking nasty. Did you want that much or no? I want a little bit more. What? Come on. No. We're gonna I'm trying it. to get big. Okay, I do this thing with Jordan where he says he wants more than he does, and I tell him that things are more filling than they are, than he thinks they are, and then I be right every single time. So I'm going to do exactly what I think you're going to have. And then you can have as much as you want afterwards because it's plenty of leftovers. Okay, thank you. you I might cheese, just baby? not. Yes, yes, yes. You want chips? Yes. You want sour cream? Yes. And no, you want guac? Yes. And did you want any taco sauce or no? Yes. Okay. See, I want it all. Come on. I, I want it all. Give there me my stuff back. Give me my stuff back. Mm -mm -mm. Ty Tribet. Okay. Or Tribet. I learned that it, was, it wasn't Ty Tribet, it's Tribet. Tribet? I think so. Did I used to say Tribet or Tribet? Yeah, I, I say, did. we always say Tribet. Ah. Uh. Give me my stuff. I'm about to listen to that. I want it all. Mm. Mm. I forgot what bowl of yours. I think mine had most in it. I think mine had like the extra scoop. <laughs> the extra scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I love sour cream, you guys. Sour cream. Um, do another lunch lady splat. <laughs> I like tons, so I'm going to put you a good amount in there. Ooh my finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. That cheese already melting. Mm. Okay. Man, these look so freaking good. I seen a lady on Snapchat the other day and I was just like, bro, she was making taco bowls and I was like, wait a minute, because I, I made something similar to that before. So I looked up the video and I found the video of the lady that was making it and I was like, wait a minute, but it wasn't a taco bowl. Let me put some taco seasoning in it. That gives you ideas. Look at you. You be on that. What I'm trying these cafe style chips. I want to make it look cute for a picture, so y'all, I'm just going to put a little bit on the side, but then when we get done, we're going to add some more, like a bowl, you can have like, some. yay, girl, yay, 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 what that look like, yay, yay, let's get into it, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobble, dude, I have a story time, so we had like a neighborhood friend growing up, and then there was another kid on the block that, okay, I literally beat him up so bad when I was little and he was like way bigger than me. He was skinny, but he was like way bigger than me. I beat him up so bad when I was little and I ended up feeling very bad about like beating him up, but he was so freaking annoying and his dad was so disrespectful to the kids. Like my mom like almost fought his mom and like it was bad. Anyway, so basically some letters came up on their patio saying that this boy was like a nerd and all this different stuff. They assumed that it was our friend on the block. I'm gonna call his friend Jay. So they, they, they assumed that it was Jay. And Jay's like, yeah, he went over to our house saying all that different stuff. My mom thinks that maybe I did it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, ain't nobody worried about that. You ain't get that junk, blah, 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 blah. He was like, yup. And the craziest thing is, like, his stepmom, because the boy hated his stepmom. We all didn't like her. His stepmom, that's a wig she got on. I was like, what you mean? He was like, so I seen her at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. I was sitting on my my porch. She came out with this little rug rat ponytail. And I was like, rug rat ponytail? I remember being a kid thinking it was the funniest thing. Rug grab ponytail. She grabbed her a uh, little newspaper or whatever, looked up, seen him, and ran back in the house. I was like, day after day. Oh my god. Hey, I'm just playing. But I feel bad about, you know, doing that kid like that mm -hmm. and angry, you know? And he was so annoying. <laughs> I think he wanted to fight me too, though. Why am I using my teeth? For real. Here, let me a see. knife? A large. Anyways, that's my little, you know, childhood story because, honey, I was a little bad little kid. You got all the stories. Yeah, I have a lot of stories. I just haven't sold them, you know. You know a lot of my stories, though. So. Mm -hmm. You know. What that looking like to you? That's looking like a lot of goodness that I want. Ooh, eat. I'm trying to get a good picture, so I'm trying to make it look nice. So I'm going to make sure that some of the food is showing. Because it's like sauces and guacs. All mm -hmm. right. Y'all, do not mind my package back there. That's my new uh, Bath and Body Works candles. Yes, ma'am. No nail. Having sell. But y'all, our show got to give me some curtains back there because curtains would look so cute back there. Um, I kind of have like a vibe that I want to go for for the curtain, so I'm going to go ahead and do that soon. But anyway, girl, it's time to eat. I'm so freaking hungry. Where's your food at? I got my food what you walking food. up to I, me for? Because, because, I'm not about to feed you mine. No. Go sit down. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> Shut the heck up. I don't even got a fork. <laughs> hey, it's hot. Mm -mm. Blow on your food. Mm. Oh, look at you, babe. You're right there. Hey, Oh, perfect. you cute. You cute. Okay. This is so good. Yeah. Oh, babe, with the chip, though, too. Make sure you get your sour cream. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta get a little bit of everything. Mmm, baby. Mm-mm. 
Ain't no way. Bye ya. Shout out to the girl. Video's linked down below, y'all. She has like a bunch of like crock pot, regular pot meals, like dump and go meals, cause she's a mama. And girl, they good. <laughs> they good. I tried a couple of her meals. They good. Mm -hmm. The fact that you can look at like a recipe and you can make it, whip it together, and it be so flavorful and good, like your first times through. Like I know this isn't the only time. It's that my you made second it. time, bro. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like this ain't the the first time you made it, but even the first time you did make it, it was hitting. It's like, funny because I be go ahead, baby. Like there hasn't been a time where she's made something for like the first time and it hasn't been good. Not for cheese on my eye. I just bit my dang cheek. But yes, you're right. I can agree with that. You got some pretty eyes. Such pretty eyes. I, I will tell y'all, not a single time. It's so attractive. Yeah! <laughs> and then with the guac with the lemon inside of it. Oh my gosh, bro. Mm -hmm. Stop playing around. I really like how you can taste everything. Everything. Like, this is so good. You can taste the lemon inside the guac. Inside the guac, yeah. And with these tomatoes as well. It adds a nice touch. Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff to say about this for real. If y'all ain't eating this, y'all are weird. I don't know. <laughs> you know how many people you just call weird, Jordan? I'm just playing. You're a bully. I'm, I'm just playing. Cancel. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, seriously, I was talking to somebody recently and they were like, bro, this whole cancel thing, like, I'm sorry, but like, we didn't raise softies. She was telling me like, we don't raise soft. We didn't raise, like, where are where these people coming from? I'm like, I feel you. She was like, because I promise you, like, what be going on behind closed doors, people will be canceled left and right. Yes. But people, people are just trying to fit in online. Like, that's Facts. their life. A lot of people live through social media. But it's like, where did all of these little sissies come from? And that's it right there. Exactly what you said. I feel like it's just people trying to fit in to some sort of, like they call it, cancel culture. They're just trying to fit in to something. That's, that shouldn't even be a thing. You have to try to get some comfort. And then on top yes. of that, it's because they got stuff going on in their life. They want to go ahead and put their hurt and their pain and their emotions and their hate and jealousy onto you. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. I had my mom send this to me, shall I say. I was looking through some of her photos. She was showing me some of her, some of her photos. Don't take criticism from people you wouldn't ever go to for advice. We're always going to have some say, I don't give a crap if yeah. you get a homeless man, some chicken, or, okay, I don't care if you pack some lunches for the homeless man, you ain't got much money, but you use your last little money to go ahead and pack up some lunches for the people on the side of the street. They're gonna say, why don't you give him no fried chicken? Why don't you give him a full course meal? Why don't you give him some broccoli? Right. Okay, big girl. Bars, big bars. The angle done changed, but I gotta go ahead and put away my products anyway. But yeah, that's my talk for today because we gotta have a little rant like every time, pretty much. Facts. And like the end. Honestly. Facts. Cause it's, it's a lot of stuff that I wanna talk about. Like, what you wanna talk about? Speak, like, I wanna what you wanna talk about? On. Like honestly, I've really been wanting to talk about like how you can really genuinely tell that we're in like the end times. Fact. With everything going on right now. It's so much weird stuff that's lining up with scripture that shows that we are Amen. literally there. Now listen, people, because I know people gonna say this. Oh, people been saying that for thousands of years. Let me tell you something. One day is a thousand years to us, to the Lord. A day mm -hmm. is a thousand years to us, to the Lord. So he ain't been gone for long, baby. Yeah, why do people Lord? act like we got the same sense of time? Like, Fact. what? You, <laughs> right? Dude, I'm like, like, like what? stop playing. I don't know, but it is the end times. It definitely is. It definitely is. People will, you'll go outside, people will hate on you for no reason. Mm -hmm. You say, you could say you're a Christian to people and then that'll just turn in the complete opposite way. Oh yeah, like, like yeah, like making it clear. Okay, because we got people that, you know, talk about God all the time, but you never hear them specify who their God is. Um, and then you got people that, you know, say that they're a Christian, but they don't really know anything about being a Christian or anything yeah. about the Word of God. And I can't sit up here and lie. I was one of those Christians that I am a Christian. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, but I wasn't powerful. I had never read the Bible a day in my life. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't praising, I wasn't doing none of that. But all I know yeah. is that my family identified as Christian, so I identify as Christian as well. Okay, so ain't there no judging going on. Yeah, that's how I used to be as well whenever I was younger. Exactly. Back Back in school, yeah. So that's why I always tell my people out here, us Christians, we got to make sure we are speaking the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because we got to make it clear what God we serve. Right. Okay, and I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus so, Christ. you know, that's what we got to make sure we make it clear. I always tell people, use the name of Jesus because, you know, God nowadays is a very broad statement. It's a very broad, you know, it's just like, you know, who are you talking to? So when people say, these famous folks be like, oh, glory to God. I be like, okay. I don't say amen because I don't know who you're talking about. But I know I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ when I'm speaking about my God and my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But anyway, y'all, he's plugging in my cute like little twinkle lights right now. I'm going to go ahead and put away all of my hygiene products because when I get like new products that I'm super excited about, I will set them out in one of these box cubicle things and I'll eventually get to them. 
Thank you. Girl, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> like right now, I have two brand new things at Olaplex and a brand new thing of the new purple shampoo they came out with. Those things I'm going to go ahead and try very soon. Um, of course, this free and clear can go to the laundry room. But baby, was there anything else you wanted to say when we were talking? Sit down. Yeah, actually, um... I'm oh, sorry. You just I need me in my bed. Need me in my bed. I know for a fact that you need me in my bed. Ooh, hold on. Hey, so what you were just talking about, tying into that, I actually do want to say like a little story. <laughs> uh, so since I really, I claimed that I was a Christian as well, I was in probably about sixth or seventh grade, okay? And I used to tell people, okay, I believe in God. There was this particular boy. It was me and my friend. Was, he said, and he was being like petty in a weird way. He kept on saying like, there's no God. God's not real. Ooh, that smells nice. Y'all, this deodorant I bought smells so good. He kept on saying, God's not real. Like, why do you believe in that stuff? And he was saying some other stuff. I'm not going to say it because it was some pretty vulgar stuff. But I remember feeling myself, like, get so hot. I was getting so heated. Obviously, I didn't know any better. I didn't know, like you said, I didn't know scripture. I just believed in God. Me too. And I believed in Jesus. <laughs> and I would, like, fight that. Like, I physically was like pushing on him and stuff. I was like, what? God is real. God is real. Why you got, how was the earth created? How was the world created? I was a little kid pushing him and stuff. And he kept on saying like, he's not real. He's not real. It was just like a little kid squabble. And my friend was behind me. He kept on saying, yeah, God is real. God is real. You know what? Like, what can you say to your kid that's fighting? Cause like my mama, her dad told her, you know, you only fight for a couple things, you know? Something you believe in, for the people you love. And he said something else I forgot. He gave her a lot of wise advice that, you know, has been passed down to me as well. But um, it's like, what do you tell your child? So I would tell them, you know, you don't got to get physical. You don't got to get physical. Mm -hmm. We know that the Lord Jesus Christ is real. We know what we believe in. So we walk away from a situation like that because we know what's taking place. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I understand what you're saying because, like, it was stuff like that that would happen when I was younger. And it's just like, you just <laughs> resort to, like, wanting to get physical and just wanting yeah. to, like, hurt somebody. But um, it's like, could I get mad at my child if he came home and got, like, suspended or something because he fought and because somebody said God wasn't real? I'm not going <laughs> to discipline him. I'm not going to do it. But I am going to explain to him the better way to go about a situation like that if it does take place again. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I would discipline him. I'd be right. like, now make sure, did you beat him down to the ground? Did <laughs> <laughs> you win? Anyways, that deodorant smells so good. It smells like Arm & Hammer detergent. I was going to tell a story, but I'm actually not going to. Girl, I have done enough talking. I got the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shape Oil. Oh my gosh, I've been through like two bottles of this. It smells amazing. Good. I love their shape oils. They're super sleek and nice. I'm just putting away everything. And like I said, y'all, I be using this Aussie stuff to shave my legs. I have been using it to shave my legs. It's in my shower. But this Brazilian Bear Fresh Watermelon Extra Gentle Shave Syrup. So these are for like the actual bikini area and they work so amazing. Y'all, so I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my shower and go ahead and test it out, but y'all, cute. And of course it doesn't go inside anywhere, you guys. It just goes on the external part where the hair grows. It's an ugly watermelon. It's an ugly watermelon smell. <laughs> Watermelon. I'm gonna put it in my shower. It, it really is an ugly watermelon smell. It really is. I got my baby walk up. Hey, hey, hey. Those can go hey, in the laundry because hey. I gotta wash them up. Hey, that was that was perfectly. Wait a minute. Whoa, you did just get buckets real quick. <laughs> Bless you, double time. <laughs> oh, this was the creamy oil I was telling you guys about earlier. This is the Johnson's creamy oil. If you want to go ahead and smell it, honey. Oh my gosh. It smells nice. It's like fruity, right? But you wouldn't you wouldn't think about the smell like that coming out of there, like a cotton touch no, white bottle. No. Color is everything to me. Like, what? I love Beautiful Day. I'm not sure if, Come yeah. On. I love Beautiful Day uh, body spray, you guys, but I don't like that they changed it to blue because green really matched this smell because this smell has um, sun kissed apple. And when I tell you guys, it's more of like an apple y, like, apple y. Oh my gosh. It's it's floral. It's apple y. It's, it has fresh woods. It's so beautiful. I love Beautiful Day by Bath Mighty Works. Even my teachers used to compliment me on this fragrance, but they changed it to blue and I'm like, girl, we need green. Because green gives it like the beautiful day. Five. Bath salts. Collagen. All right, girl. That was a hundred dollar budget. It's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> and you did it too. You did good. I could have got way more at Walmart if I would have went to Walmart and got like some body collagen stuff and stuff like that. But I can always still go do another budget video, you guys, if you do want to see that. But this is all of the new things that I did go ahead and purchase. So of course we got just everything that I picked up today, you guys. Super exciting. It's just so exciting, you guys. I love getting new products. Y'all know I love to smell good. So yeah. And then of course, of course, this Sephora bag. I gotta go ahead and add that fragrance up here to my perfume collection. 
if you guys want me to go ahead and do a affordable but like good long lasting perfume video and I can go ahead and share with you guys all of super cheap affordable fragrances that really do smell amazing I get complimented on and they actually do last so y'all go ahead and let me know because although I do love expensive fragrances I also love my cheap fragrances and there are so many cheap fragrances out there that smell amazing and we can make it into a series so girl go ahead and let a sister know I gotta go ahead and make my bed mm -hmm. and of course y'all know them are not all my fragrances I have so many more down here but I'm trying to build my fragrance collection to all fragrances that I absolutely love because some of these I'm not the biggest fan of and I have to give them away but girl Oh, I really enjoyed today. I did too. It was <laughs> awesome seeing you budget that. You did really good. So with that being said, that concludes today's video. We had a nail pop off. We had a little bit of frustration, but we didn't let it get to us. Mm -hmm. We had a meal. Yes, ma'am. Got some hygiene <laughs> stuff. I got a new perfume. Anyways, that concludes today's video. I really do appreciate you guys going ahead and checking out my video. Why did I want to go ahead and film right here when my bed was so pretty and made up yesterday and I didn't make it up today? I gotta go because my bed a little embarrassing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, it I love y'all.